this is Jane's responsibility on reporting for Go News Live from the Baikonur Cosmodrome here in Kazakhstan. Earlier, we witnessed the rollout of the Soyuz launch vehicle from the assembly building, and it will be transported via this rail tracks to the launch site, launch pad number one, the same launch site that Yuri Gagarin used to blast off to space on board the Vostok 1 spacecraft to be the first man in space on April 12, 1961. Crowds have gathered in the area. There are members of the media, officials from the Mohammed bin Rashid uh, Space Center, even from Roscosmos and NASA are here at the moment waiting for, waiting for the rail car to pass by and this rail car is transporting the Soyuz launch vehicle. watching the rollout of the Soyuz launch vehicle on the way to the launch pad, launch pad number one. The same launch pad which Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin used when he launched to space on board the Vostok 1 spacecraft. So just to give you a brief idea on the rocket, it's a three-stage rocket. The green part, that's, what you see, the, that's the first stage. The central core and the th four boosters. The second part is the second stage. And the white part is the nose fairing, which encapsulates the Soyuz spacecraft, which Hasa, Jessica, and Russian commander Oleg Skripochka will use on their way to, the s to space on Wednesday. So, uh, what's happened is now the Soyuz, after its assembly, uh, the Soyuz rocket, as well as the uh, the encapsulated uh, Soyuz spacecraft have been rolled out of the assembly building, brought all the way to, uh, here to Gagarin's uh, start launch pad, which is uh, where Yuri Gagarin was launched from, and the rocket has been verticalized, which means uh, all of the, uh, let's say, the uh, procedures to build up the rocket and encapsulate, everything has been done successfully. The rocket is ready now. Uh, they will be uh, starting refueling, uh, and once uh, starting fueling, and then once it's fueled, obviously, we are getting closer and closer to the launch date. For us to see the UAE flag uh, uh, everywhere here in Baikonur and to see the, uh, the flag uh, alongside uh, the United States and Russian flags and the logo of the Mohammed Barashi Space Center on the rocket itself, uh, this uh, showcases that you know two or three years of hard work are coming to a, uh, a very exciting uh, conclusion very soon. Uh, obviously the launch on the 25th is one event. We have a series of events happening for the next 10-15 days that involve the uh, Hazza al-Mansouri and Sultan Niyadi all the way up to landing and what's happening after that.